because of something that took place on TikTok the other night that was pretty unsettling, I felt compelled to make a video about it. The only reason I ever seek out the advice of the TikTok community is out of pure intellectual interest. This website is home to a number of young women who express some of the most peculiar viewpoints. Yesterday evening, I was torn between laughing at them or lamenting the current state of affairs in the world. I couldn't decide which emotion to express first. Having said that, I did notice a peculiar sight. On the game show TikTok, every single female competitor broke down in tears because they felt unwelcomed by the male contestants. One young lady expressed her frustration that she was unable to locate a suitable boyfriend for herself. She had been corresponding with him for a while, but he ended up canceling their planned meeting as well. There must be a significant number of girls who are going through emotional distress because they are not getting dates. Few people would admit that the bright lights and quirky allure of TikTok are hiding a more sinister aspect of society. These videos are still being made, in spite of the fact that TikTok is opposed to them on account of the harm they cause to women and the fact that they already exist. She has not been approached by anyone, nor has she been asked out. That is basically the worst horror they could imagine. This should serve as a cautionary tale for the dating app industry. It makes a forecast about what will take place as a growing number of women with this background enter the workforce. In the year 2026, each of you is free to check this information up if you so desire. There were women in the United States who had never been married in 2010, but by 2020, that number had dropped to 30. 33% of women did not have a spouse in their household. It is projected that the current upward trend will carry over into the following decade and continue unabated. This number will most likely fall somewhere in the range of 35% to 37%. It would not surprise me in the least if the number reached 40 since there is a specific kind of male who is highly sought after by a lot of different women. They have bought into this myth wholeheartedly. These are the women shown crying on the TikTok game. Not your typical senior in high school or freshman in college. They are well over their biological prime at this point and are pleading with a man to accept them, but he is not willing to do so. They all give up on males by the time they are in their 20s, exactly like the typical modern woman does. In my 30s, I have no choice except to spend all of my savings because it is my responsibility to do so. The next step is for them to test each and every possible ingredient. They carry out operations, make public the most recent images, and carry out manhunts. It's so strange that women will do whatever to make sure that guys want them as much as they possibly can. Unhappily, by that age, not only are boys uninterested in dating her, but they also prefer dating younger women. Men are consequently excluding themselves from the dating pool and putting off getting married. Sadly, this is the way that things truly work in the world. Because of this, I have the impression that dating in the future will become more and more similar to this, rather than being more and more balanced. The shift in the balance of power will have repercussions, and soon those repercussions will be felt by women. If you find it difficult to believe, let me explain what a typical day looks like for a woman living in today's world. Women in our culture tend to have a hypersexual orientation. On the other hand, in contrast to women in the past, Modern women hold themselves to an exceptionally high standard. Even 90% of men do not live up to the exceedingly high expectations that women have. At this point in time, only women are coveted for having feminine qualities. Engaging in sports like weightlifting and bodybuilding as well as regular grooming can help men maintain a gorgeous appearance, which is in great demand in the dating world. It is getting more and more difficult to pique a woman's interest with each passing day. This is the part that a modern lady is expected to play. After she approaches adolescence and begins to form romantic interests for boys, she redoubles her efforts to achieve the highest possible levels of academic excellence in both high school and college. It is irrelevant how she portrays herself or what she can contribute to the relationship because neither of those factors will affect the outcome. The vast majority of female students in an environment similar to that of a high school or college compete for the same 30 to 40 male students, with the remaining male students functioning as a secondary choice. 
A gorgeous lady will have one-night stands and get intoxicated at parties with the handsome guys who are her friends and her secondary option since those men are her friends and she considers them to be her preferred option. She will most certainly be passed about multiple times before going back to the man who truly loved her and unloading all of her emotional baggage on him. After she has had herself, she will go back to the unlucky man and make his life a living hell for as long as she possibly can. The fact that the tens and nines are not responsible for this is by far the strangest part of the situation. Even six and fives have been seen engaging in this practice. They are looking for tall, wealthy men that have plenty of free time to spend partying. Women have a peculiar wish list of qualities that they think men ought to have, and they think it should look something like this, beyond physical appeal. They want these men to give her the respect and devotion that is due to a queen as well as to give her their undivided attention and commitment. She quickly laments how toxic boys are after having sexual relations with one, despite the fact that it is obvious that high-quality men do not behave in this manner. This cycle continues all the way up until she graduates from college and as she gets closer and closer to the age of 25. She is coming to the realization that as her physical attraction wanes, she will no longer be able to effortlessly attract men of high social status. Because the chats are no longer interested in her, she plays around with the feelings of regular males in order to distract herself from the fact that her own appeal is waning. Her ego, on the other hand, has not been damaged. She brings a huge deal of drama and difficulties into the lives of men who simply desire a pleasant and steady relationship, but this doesn't continue for very long. The number of people who follow her on Twitter is rapidly going down. The vast majority of men will only see her as a sexual object unless she undergoes a significant transformation in her physical appearance. This helps to explain why so many women place such a high value on their youth to the point that they were willing to sleep with anyone other than the most eligible bachelors. She has no understanding why nobody wants her anymore, and as a result, she is unable to deal with the repercussions of this situation. After spending her entire life in a position of wealth, she despises the fact that she is now the target of hate. Her discourse is becoming increasingly lifeless. Men have stopped trying to get in touch with her as a result of their lack of interest in dating her. Women who have been victimized by men often go to TikTok to air their grievances. My single friends will find that this is the most successful approach to dating in the future. In the end, we are all human, and as women, there is a limit to how much we can restrict ourselves. The 1% of men who have made it this far do not want anything to do with her, much less treat her like a queen, which means that she is bound to spend the rest of her life with them. It is inevitable that the 7th and 8th tier women will come to the realization that high-value men select only the top tier women, which will compel them to date men on their level or remain permanently stuck in this circle. Despite this, I am of the opinion that it would be in everyone's best interest if men continue to dismiss women as potential partners. I am aware of how distressing it might be to be rejected, but I can promise you that it is ultimately for the best. Women experience 10 times the amount of agony that males do. Put the current world in your rearview mirror. The vast majority of women are unconcerned with their long-term financial well-being. There is no sign of any of these in their personal style, they do not wear cosmetics, nor do they wear attire that exposes skin. They do this in an effort to boost their self-esteem by becoming more attractive to others. I have great respect for your ability to forecast what will go place when all of the men reject her. She is unable to function when her cognitive abilities are impaired. She becomes disoriented and is unable to determine how to get back home. Because this represents the pinnacle of a woman's worth, she is unable to bear being rejected in such a manner. It is without a doubt excruciating for guys to be rejected. In order to forget about it, we take a day off and have a beer, whereas women tend to simply vent their frustrations to the outside world. The more that women persist in their insanity, the more that dating will resemble this in the future. Hence, unless women come to the realization that they must bring something to the table, their situation will continue to deteriorate. Even while males may be more accustomed to this reality, it is still necessary for her to adjust. Many men will give up on the concept of getting married if the woman in the relationship is expected to be able to cook, contribute to the relationship, and put forth effort, or if she is repeatedly rejected by guys. 
I am very interested in hearing your forecasts for the future. There is a widespread perception that financially successful men are living their best life while hundreds of women complain that men are toxic and wonder where they went wrong. Please take care of yourself till we get back, we won't be gone for long.